Um, today, I thought I would show you guys um, the diamond paintings I've completed in 2020. And now, this isn't everything because um, if 2020 has been anything in terms of diamond painting, it has been a year of learning for all of us about copyright and copyright infringement and artist licensing and artist rights and everything else. So um, all I did was pull out the completed diamond paintings from what I know are legitimately licensed images. I probably have a few that would be okay that I got from AliExpress and and our places and I know that you can do a reverse image search and 10 eye and all that stuff to kind of get an idea but even then that's not all always so straightforward so I just thought I would play it safe and just show you the images from places that I know for sure have been copyrighted so um, this is all in no particular order Let me grab my notes here and I'll show you the first one Oh, here it is. So my first one is The World I Used to Know by JoJo's Art. It is a full round, 56 by 71 centimeters with 44 colors. I don't really like JoJo's art. He's not really my type of artist, but I really did like this one. Um, I think it just evokes a lot of emotion there and the other one I got for JoJo's art is the koala one that I also like too. And it had the same sort of theme. It had to do with the bushfires in Australia that was happening last year. But anyways, so here's this one. World I Used to Know by JoJo's Art. Oh, and it's from Diamond Art Club. So there you go. All right, next one. Also from Diamond Art Club. Long Island Iced Tea by, I think it's, hold on, I don't want to say anything wrong, by Lily in Bow. It is a full square, 47 by 60 centimeters with 26 colors. So there you go, Long Island Iced Tea. Next one, also from Diamond Art Club. It is The World I Used to Know, or no, I'm sorry, The Way It Used to Be by Chuck Pinson. It is a full round, 71 by 56 centimeters, 36 colors. So I'm a big fan of Chuck Pinson, especially the ones done by Diamond Art Club. So I actually have every single one <laughs> that he's put out through them. So you may be seeing quite a bit of them in the coming videos. Next one is from Dai Moon Shop. This is called La Loon and it's by the artist Cheriyuki. It is a full round, 50 by 50 with 45 colors. And I did put some, I did get the special treatment. So I have some gold beads and some gold stars in there and some, I forgot all the names for it, but A beads and sparklers and all that stuff. This was the painting that first drew me to Diamond Shop. It's one of my favorite stores. I know it's a bit on the pricey side, but the quality is there and they have artwork I really like. So here's that, Maloon from Diamond Shop. All right, next one. This one is from Rainy Day Diamonds, also known as Blushing Blackbird on Etsy. It is called, give me a sec. Red Roses and Pomegranates. It is 50 by 70 centimeters with 30 colors, and this is a crystal kit. Now, um, I don't know what the deal is with Blushing Blackbird, if she's still around or not. She's been kind of MIA, so who knows, but this is the second kit I've completed from her, and I really do enjoy them, so I hope she comes back. Red Roses and Pomegranates from Blushing Blackbird. And I will go ahead and link all the stores in my description box below in case you're interested and want to go check them out. Here's this one. Um, Love at its Darkest by Mandy Manzano. It is full round, 51 by 76 centimeters with 50 colors. So here's that. 
Okay, next one. And then her Chuck Pinson. This one is called, give me a sec to look at my notes, Cottage by the Sea by Chuck Pinson from Diamond Art Club. It's a full square, 74 by 55 centimeters with 43 colors. There you go, Cottage by the Sea. Next is White Tiger by Amy Stewart. This is a partial square with 16 colors. And I think uh, from Diamond Art Club. And I think this was actually one of the very first partials the Diamond Art Club put out. Even though, I mean, you call it a partial, but I mean, it took up the entire canvas pretty much. The only thing that isn't diamond painted is the black background. But I really love how this pops out. It's really cool. So white tiger. Next. See if I can fit this on here. There you go. This is called Welcome Home by Howard Robinson, and this is from Treasure Studios Art. It is going through my notes again. It is a full round, 70 by 95 centimeters with 40 colors. So there you go. Howard Robinson is one of my favorite artists on Treasure Studios Art. Um, but they got a huge variety of artists for you to choose from. Just full disclosure, I am an affiliate with TSA. So if you feel so, if you're so obliged, um, when you go check them out and you decide you want to order something, if you wouldn't mind using my code, Debra15, it will save, your, save you 15% off any orders of $40 US or more. But here you go, Welcome Home by Howard Robinson from Treasure Studios Art. Next one was actually my very first finish for the year. And this is called Reef Life, also by Howard Robinson. It is 80 by 55 centimeters with 35 colors and it's also a square. Don't mind that I had cut off the edges of, these, of this canvas. I was starting to because I was trying to figure out a way to frame it. And then I got distracted and lost track and you guys know how that is. But anyways, so I really like this one. It's full of detail and it just really pops. Now here you go. Beef Life from Treasure Studios Art. Next one. We are back to Diamond Art Club. Does this all fit? I got the Bayou Lady. I think that's what it's called. Hold on. Yes, The Bayou Lady by Mandy Manzano. It is 42 by 125 centimeters square with 45 colors. So this is pretty long. This is part of the princess panels that everyone goes crazy for. And I think this one is still in print with Diamond Art Club. I know quite a few of them have been discontinued. But there you go, Bayou Lady, Oops, sorry. Next up, another Chuck Pinson. That makes it my third one for the year. Um, Hope Runs Deep. It is from Diamond Art Club once again. It measures 76 by 56 centimeters. It's a full round with 49 colors. So there you go. And last but not least, I've got Sea Buddies by Mandy Manzano, also from Diamond Art Club. This is, where are my notes? Full round, 55 by 73 centimeters with 44 colors. So there you go, that's it. That's all the, at least copyrighted diamond paintings that I've completed for the year 2020. I think that makes about 13, so I think I'm, I'm on a good pace, about one a month or so. Um, hopefully I can complete a lot more this year so I can show you guys a lot more of my completed diamond paintings at the end of the year. But anyways, if you have stuck around till the end, thank you so much. 
And if you did like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and um, have a great day, you guys. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye now.